Hello Brick fans, welcome to my channel, it's Gareth here again and today we shall be looking at the first Animal Crossing set that I purchased. I do like these sets and I'm really looking forward to looking at it with you. So this is set 77047, Bunny's Outdoor Activities, 164 pieces. It's a nice coloured box, it says Animal Crossing on it, welcome to Animal Crossing. And when you turn it around on the back, and it's got a little sign that says customizable, and it shows you all the bits of the build. And it looks like you can swap them around and put them in any position you want to. Yeah, cool. I like these Animal Crossing sets, and plan on getting them all, so we can build a big island. Let's get it open and have a look at it. Hmm, okay. Whoa, look at this. New paper bags are in this set. I've not seen these yet. Apparently they've been out for a while, but I've not had a set with paper bags in yet. This is the first one. Awesome, I like the look of them. So this set includes two large paper bags full of pieces and an instruction booklet. We'll open up these bags, see what the Lego's like, get the Lego out in a nice pile. Yeah, let's do it. It looks pretty straightforward to open. Well, at least the paper bags are easier to open than the plastic ones. And the recyclable. And a smaller paper bag full of pieces. Yeah, I do like opening these paper bags. They're easy to open, quite thick, and feel sturdy too. So it should keep the Lego safe when it's been transported to you. Hmm. Let's have a look at all the printed pieces. Ooh, butterfly. Ooh, creepy spider. <laughs> Little yellow stars. I think you collect these in the game. I'm not too sure. I don't know what this purple tile is. Maybe a shell or something. Bunny's bodyless head. Here's Bunny's torso. Printing's nice on it. On the front. And on the back. Ah, this looks like a new piece, an interesting piece. It's like the bottom of a tree trunk. Hey, this would be good for making trees. Having this on the end with the roots coming out of it. Yeah, it comes with two it looks like. Nice. Right, let's put it together. I'm not sure if these are new pieces as well, or maybe because it's the first time I've seen them in green. And the bottom of the tree with the tree base coming off the trunk, I like it. And here's the finished set, complete with Bunny with the marshmallow by the fire. Ah, tree with cherries on, a nice pretty yellow butterfly, little stream, ugh, spider. <laughs> Couple of trees, box of tools, and Bunny's tent. A lit campfire and a log seat for Bunny to sit on. I think this white thing, it looks like it might be a radio next to the bottom of her bed. Yeah, that's what I think it is. Since I've never played the game, I'm not sure what it is. But yes, I think it's a radio. And in Bunny's tool chest, she has a net for catching the butterfly, a spade for digging, a stick for jumping over the stream, and an axe for chopping the wood for her fire. Now this turns stick in the box. You take it out and put it in this white technique piece and this acts as her pole vault over the stream just like in the game then it goes back in the toolbox 
this set is modular and can come apart. Then you can put it back together in all different types of combinations to make an interesting layout just as your own. These Animal Crossing sets are using the base plates that came out in the Super Mario sets back in 2020. I think they're a good idea because then you can build your base plate up and to be able to add extra bits to it. Make it as big or as small as you wish. It shows some possible combinations in the instruction booklet too. Now I can show you the features of the set. The yellow tent opens up so Bunny can lie down on her sleeping bag. This tree can open up to reveal a branch and a little yellow flower. I think this is to show that in the game you can hit trees and get branches and wood from them and stuff. And on the top of this little hill, the rock can come up. And inside there's a gold star. I can't remember what this is in the game, but it must mean something. It's a good little set, I like it. I would say it does have some Fabulon vibes, but all in all, it's an Animal Crossing set and it looks exactly like Animal Crossing. And it's also modular so you can add different sets and build your own island. The bunny minifigure is nicely done. The printing is very crisp and clean and she has a front and back print. The legs are plain. They're the in-between legs from normal to small, the middle ones. So they still have the hinge to bends so she can still sit down. I like these Animal Crossing minifigures. Bunny looks good. She has a hole in the top of her head so you can stick things in like bows and hats and stuff. Yes, I like this minifigure. Very accurate. I think I will try and collect them all. Well, that's it for the end of the video, folks. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I look forward to see you in the next video. Please show your support by liking and subscribing. And I shall see you next time. See you later.